Okay, so, so what you said is basically, you learned Abana and Salam. You know how to say them? Mm -hmm. Completely? Well, kind of. Okay. Well, they didn't teach you the Ten Commandments, no. Ten Sins? No. No? No, they were learning yet. Okay. But they did not finish. So what did you learn about the Ten Sins so far? About the Ten Commandments? Nothing. Yeah, nothing? Okay, so you know, the reason why we study religion, yeah, or we learn religion, is to know about God I know. and Jesus, yeah. but equally important to know the difference between right and wrong. I know the difference. How do you know the difference between right and wrong? Because I feel like... I, Sorry? I feel like um, hurt somebody. Uh -huh. It's bad. Uh -huh. If you if you help them yeah. and you do stuff yeah. for them, yeah. it's good. Okay. So, well, there are yes. This is this is right. But now I was angry at Jiddu, right? And you heard me, like raise my voice. Yeah. yeah. So what is this situation? How do I know if it's right or wrong? Okay. This is what we learn. Okay. In one of the things we learn in religion. Okay, so it's not only about hurting, because sometimes, sometimes, we think we didn't hurt somebody, but we hurt them, right? Yeah. So who decides if it's right or wrong? Yeah. You, no, yes, exactly. How did that happen? In the form of ten commandments, like ten things we should do. You know how to count to ten? Help other. One, two, three, no. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Exactly, okay, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Okay. Okay, wait. So that's not how, wait, wait, wait. Clear. Uh, wait, wait. Okay, so there are ten. Exactly. So you know. Nine, three, nine, five, seven, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Now you listen to me. You counted in four languages. That's oh, amazing. Yeah. So you can count soon. You will have. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete. Okay. I know. Now please listen to me, okay? Because I'm explaining something very important, okay? So there are ten sins or ten things we should not do. Don't lie. I'm gonna name a few of them. Don't lie. Okay, don't kill, okay, um, and don't steal, okay, so repeat these three, today we'll learn three. Don't kill, uh -huh. don't uh, rob, don't steal, don't, yeah, and don't, uh, I don't know. Okay, so don't kill, don't steal, don't lie, repeat them. Don't lie, don't steal, and don't kill. Kill. Okay? So, I will explain to you something that happened. You know, me and mommy are not together, right? Yeah. So, but I'm also not with you in the same house, right? <coughs> me and mommy were married, and we had you. We were living in the same house. And mm -hmm. things, like, me and mommy became very angry at each other for different reasons. <coughs> Sorry. Okay? Yeah? So we started fighting, like not fighting with hands, but fighting, quarrel, like you, like you heard me, like I was angry at now when I'm talking, right? Yeah. So what happened is, so we were angry at each other yeah. and we were living in Bahrain. And one day I came home and you and mommy were not there. Yeah. So basically you are for me and for mommy, as our daughter, both of us, right? Yeah. So therefore we equally have the right to be with you and to take decisions so when i come back home and i find that <coughs> you and mommy are in lebanon and you traveled without me knowing what is this stealing okay, okay. this is called stealing so stealing is when you take somebody else's rights or what they belong to them and you, without you asking right so anything that is not yours okay that you take Okay, even you see, you see this tree here? Yeah. This tree here, it's behind this fence. So if there's an apple here, you're not allowed to take it because this is stealing, right? But if the apple was here and it belongs to no one, you can pick it from the tree and you can take it. Okay, so what happened is, yeah, is that I came home and I didn't find you. So, and no one ever asked me about 
what I feel or what I want for you, right? It's just, you just disappeared, okay? So this is don't steal, okay? Then don't lie. And then, I don't lie. yeah, and then when mommy came to Lebanon, she started what is called divorce, okay? And basically she said, in, in, you know, because we go to court, you know, we go to judge and lawyers and things like that, okay? So she, got, she went and she told them that Papa is crazy, like really crazy, sick, yeah, like crazy. And then, and then basically for her to prove that I am, uh, I am sick, okay, she got me stolen by people from under the house, okay, and took me to a hospital where I stayed 25 days and I was not allowed to go out and people were beating me, okay, yeah, so what is this called? <laughs> Lying, yeah, why? Because she went to the court and she told them, I don't want to be with this man, me, because he's crazy, yeah, and in order, when you go to court, when you go to court and there's a judge and you tell them, my husband is crazy, okay, you have to prove it, right? You have to, it's like you can't just go say one thing about someone and they believe you. You have to prove. So how did she prove? She made sure I got really angry and when I got really angry, yeah, she got me taken by people to a hospital for 25 days and I was beaten. So that is lying. So but she, Daddy, can you stop? That. No, because I want you to understand this. I want to go home now. You will go home, but you will go home with this understanding. Okay? So, last one. Killing. Okay? God said to us. Okay? This you will learn also. This is the third. God told man, human beings, men and women, they told them, I made you master on all the creation, right? Because we are the only ones who have a brain to think and a heart to feel. Yeah, the plants don't have that and the animals don't have that, right? So he told us, you are smart enough to do, to use whatever I gave you, whatever God gave us, okay, to make good out of it, okay? So if you kill something, right? Now, we kill a plant to eat it, right? Yeah. Right? But the plant comes up again. So nature gives us everything, right? Yeah. Then animals. Because an apple, it can grow again. Exactly. So the more green we have, the more green we have, then the more um, food we have, okay? But look what's happening with animals, right? So now, people kill animals just for pleasure, as in to eat and enjoy. Now, what... What, you know, so in order for us to eat animals, we need to have farms, right? For animals, right? So what they do in these farms is they release lots of carbon dioxide into the air, right? And what happens when you release, marhaba, bonjour, when you release so much carbon dioxide is we start suffocating. You see why we're sick all the time? It's because we're killing animals, right? Because we're killing too much animals. So God told us, you are the master of animals and plants, but you will only do it for good. So at some point, if you are hungry in the forest and you had no option to eat, you would kill an animal to eat it. And that's how people started so eating that, animals. But in forests, there is usually fruit. Well, I mean, before, look, this is actually where everything lives, like down in this forest, right? Because in this forest, You've got the animals, you've got the birds, you've got the butterflies, you've got, right? And this is where we are. Now in the forest, long time ago, it used to be all animals and not so many humans. And now we're so many humans and we're eating all the animals and we're killing all the animals and we're cutting all the trees. So what yeah, are we doing? when we were before, uh -huh. uh, all time, uh -huh. they used to kill some. Well, yes, exactly. But there were, okay, so now we are 8 billion people, billion. Right? So we're 8 billion people now. It wasn't 10 billion? No, it was 7 billion. Now, last year, it became 8 billion. Okay? Now, uh, 100 years ago, we were like, like maybe a billion. So imagine how much more people. So now we need more to eat. 
right? But what gives us most food? Nature, fruits, and right? It gives us so much. If we have more green, but we have in, more fruits. Daddy, yeah? In India, it's all uh, vegetarian. Well, it's not all vegetarian, but... but half of it yes, is exactly. And you know why? Okay, there's like different reasons, but mainly, mainly, it's about killing animals. Because, you know, uh, you know, th there's... I was telling you, okay, like plants, are really good because they give us all the energy we need and they give us so much taste and flavor right and animals okay actually if you really think about it when you eat like meat and stuff like you feel like there's this um, you know like fatty taste right so this is bad energy yeah so when we eat meat okay and I'm not saying we should we should be careful in eating meat okay I only eat Every two weeks at the moment. Sorry? I only eat meat every two weeks. Well, look, that's a good thing. I do one thing. I don't bring meat to my house at all. Sometimes I feel like having a shawarma or a burger, something like that. Now imagine, imagine, now because we're hurting the planet so much because we're killing animals, and we're hurting ourselves, right? Because when we kill the animals, and all this farming is releasing so much carbon dioxide in the air. So what's happening? We're poisoning ourselves. So imagine now everyone on the planet, okay, becoming like us, eating a burger or eating meat once every two weeks, you know, or, you know, every once in a while. If Imagine, like now we have, let's say, you know, 100%, right? Okay, so let's say now we are eating at 100%, okay, um, uh, meat in the whole world, right? Imagine everybody who eats meat, okay, decides to eat one time every 10 days. So that makes it 10%. So we kill 90% less animals, you know? Imagine. So if we kill so much less animals, then everyone is healthier, right? Everyone is healthier, and then um, we're eating better food because vegetarian food can give us all the nutrition that animals can give us, but without us having to farm and kill, right? So if everyone decides on the world to eat once every 10 days meat, what happens to the world? It becomes greener, <laughs> yeah? And then we'll have more animals, and we'll have more butterflies, and we'll have they more don't... bees. How do they kill you? Oh yeah, because sometimes when they get uh, the, the, what's it called? Mm -hmm. Meal, honey. Honey, yeah. Sometimes the bees get, maybe you hit a bee by mistake. Yeah. And you kill the bee. Yes, by mistake, yeah. Okay, like I, I sat once on a bee and it stung me in my butt. Hmm. Well, look, unintentional killing of so, uh, like not, you know, I don't know if you remember when you were a kid. Yeah. When you were a kid, you used to, once you came and you stepped on ants. And you remember I told you clearly, no, we don't step on the ants, right? Remember? So we don't do it on purpose. But if one day there's an insect on the floor and we, like, and we step on it by mistake, then at least, at least we, I, you know what I say? I say, I'm sorry. I feel it in my heart. I say, I'm sorry because I didn't mean to, but that doesn't apply to any form so when we say don't kill right it's about we don't decide to kill not a human being not an animal we don't kill and we don't that means we don't hurt and i was telling you before uh, when we left the house i told you you saw me angry okay why am i angry <coughs> i am angry yeah because and you know, I don't speak to, to Teta, to my mom, and I don't speak to Uncle Danny, right? Why? Because there's three sins that I told you today about. Don't lie, don't kill, and, yeah? Don't lie, don't kill. What was the third one? Don't steal, yeah? So, I don't speak to the people who do that and who don't, if they realize that they've done a mistake, okay, this is called also forgiveness. This is what we learn 
Jesus teaches us forgiveness. Okay? We forgive people who hurt us, who steal from us, and who lie about us or lie to us. We only forgive them if they say, I, if they say, so, not just sorry, they say, this is how we say an apology. I am sorry because I lied to you. I did not mean to, and I promise not to do it again. Okay? So this is how a promise is constructed. So you take responsibility. Yeah? I am sorry. I am sorry. Which means you took responsibility. You say that you, you accept that you have made a mistake. And then you say what the mistake was. Yeah? So the mistake. So I am sorry because I lied to you about taking your pencil without asking you. Okay? So this is, and then what do we do about it? Right? I stole your pen. So because I stole it and I lost it, I got you another one and I hope you still accept me as a friend. And that person has the choice to accept to forgive you or not. Now I choose, for me, we should always give people one chance to repeat the same lie, right? Or the same sin. It's called a sin, right? And in, in, in what you will learn in Katishas. Okay, so these are three sins out of ten. Okay, so we forgive people, okay, when they do a mistake and they say sorry, then they say, I will not do it again. But if they do it again, you see how it happened with Judo? You see how I raised my voice? Yeah? This is what happens. Second, when people make the same mistake twice. Daddy, can we walk when, and stop talking of that? When people make the same mistake twice, okay, you can choose to forgive them, but I don't recommend that. Because people who do the same mistake twice will do it a third and a fourth and a fifth. Daddy, stop talking of that. Okay, we're done. <laughs> I would like to invite Gabriella. Gabriella from Global Change Makers. Now, I'm fascinated by the Global Change Makers. Uh, because if we taught every child or teenager about design thinking, social entrepreneurship, and project management in five weeks for a course of $50, that means we will change the world in 10 days or five weeks. So if we get literally a thousand of these young people to take the Global Change Makers program, the whole world can change. So I'm happy to have Gabriella. Hello everyone. Uh, thank you so much for, for having me here, Roger. And uh, yes, as you said, the, the mission that we have is to support youth to create positive change towards uh, inclusive, fair and sustainable communities. Um, we actually have more than a thousand uh, young people worldwide, every corner of the world, uh, working on all sorts of issues, whether it's uh, women's rights, the environment, uh, inclusion, mental health, you name it. And uh, our motto and our way of doing this is we have a very large community of young people that are community activists, uh, social entrepreneurs uh, who are basically creating their own projects and their own initiatives to improve the communities that they live in and are teaching other young people how they did so. So um, we now have a, an online school where the teachers are young people themselves who are sharing their experience of what it is to be a young person and trying to change the world. Uh, and we do it in a very structured way uh, through courses, uh, online courses. We also do webinars, we have a podcast, uh, we have a YouTube channel where basically we share all the knowledge that, that needs to be shared in order to, to create a positive change. A little bit of numbers, um, we have uh, change makers in more than 180 countries, so virtually everywhere in the world. We have supported more than 420 youth initiatives. Uh, we've been around uh, for 13 years, so uh, kind of like a 
building up in, 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 in the community and, and growing the community and growing the resources that these communities is, uh, is able to share. Uh, so far from all these projects that we have helped support it in the past, we've had an impact of more than 15 million people impacted worldwide through the, the different projects that we have. Provide examples uh, to show young people that it is possible regardless whatever your, your situation or your background um, is to do something good for the world and we encourage them to do so and provide a, a support network uh, of young people that are doing the same. First things first, I'ma say all the words inside my head I'm fired up and tired of the way that things have been Oh, ooh, the way that things have been Oh, ooh, second thing, second Don't you tell me what you think that I can be I'm the one at the sale, I'm the master of my sea Oh, ooh, the master of my sea Oh, ooh, I was broken from a young age, taking my soak into the masses Writing my poems for the few that look at me, took to me, shook at me Feeling me singing from heartache, from the pain Taking my message from the veins, speaking my lesson from the brain Seeing the beauty through the... that we have, um, as Roger was saying, uh, are a lot connected to data and science. What can we really rely on? We're not just collecting subjective feedback from people how they are feeling. We're actually looking under the hood and wanting to understand what you as an individual can do to optimize your wellness, your well-being, your life, your performance, whether it is a corporate performance or athletic performance or just 
performance in life, being feeling good about yourself, getting the best out of yourself. And that could be, from my perspective, it is you have to have a systemic approach. There are so many pieces of the puzzle that have to click so that you can feel at your best. And what we look into are aspects like sleep, stress. How do you optimize that? Um, what kind of mindset do you need to have actually to win every day? Um, how do you eat? What kind of food suits you? Not just to go with the gener- generic diets that are trending, go for the ketogenic diet, because that might be not your thing at all. Not the thing that you like, but also not serving your genetics. So mentioning genetics now, that's also part of the tools that we use, the testing that we use when working with individuals, that we can get your genetic blueprints and start optimizing all these areas for you by digging deeper into, okay, what is your lifestyle's current effect on your genes? So this is the science of epigenetics, understanding what your choices that you make on everyday basis, how they affect your genetic blueprint, not the other way around.